Drones is a vast collection of multi-sampled ambient drone instruments created with the renowned experimental musician Alexander Hacke. The recordings for this collection were created at two locations in Berlin, Teldex Scoring Stage and Silent Green, a former mausoleum and a very interesting acoustic environment. We recorded electric guitars and basses, orchestral instruments, a bass choir, as well as specifically selected instruments like Tanpura or Hurdy Gurdy. The instrument list was put together with Alex, and he provided valuable guidance throughout the sessions. Although it's not the main focus of this collection, you have access to all these original, pure recordings, and of course, you get Orchestral Tools' typical multi-microphone position options. So, what is the main focus of this collection? It's all about sound design and expression. We've put together a massive array of complex drone patches, handcrafted by Sasha Knorr and Timo Loosley. All patches were carefully compiled using the drone recordings we created and then processed and mixed, often with high-end analog hardware and digital effects. But before we get into the details, here are some examples. We've been able to provide a huge tonal range on some of these drones. Also, we recorded and processed everything chromatically so that every note sounds organic and alive. At least, that's true of the instruments that can provide a chromatic scale. More on that later. We also recorded and produced those drones with a very long playing duration. Most of the recorded sounds in drones are over a minute long. They have an inner life with evolving textures and a little unexpected effects and artifacts here and there. They're designed to carry a track and be played and held down for a long time. Have a listen to this single drone without any CC movement. Now, we mentioned expression earlier. Your mod wheel or CC1 controller gives you even more possibilities to shape the texture and dynamics of your drones. This gives you a simple and intuitive way to control expression. Each complex drone patch features multiple layers which can be used for great dramatic effect. And of course, if you'd rather handle dynamics by key velocity, you can do that too. In the sign player, you just need to switch the dynamic response to key velocity. With that enabled, you can utilize the different layers of each drone patch for individual notes just by hitting them with different intensity. All patches of drones have release trigger samples. These give you the natural reverb of the recording venues as well as the effects decays of the reverb and delay added in the sound design patches. But if you want, you can deactivate those release triggers and work with the envelope curve of the sign player instead. Then you can adjust attack and release times to your liking.
This collection is designed to be easy to navigate and control. We set up multiple categories for each drone. Everything's set up in groups, and the group names should give you a good idea of what to expect from each patch. Let's start with the soft low drones. So we know that most of the time you might not want to play multiple notes or chords with drone instruments, but nevertheless, we made sure that this is still possible and that when you do play multiple notes at once, the resulting sound doesn't become too much for your track. This category features natural sounding drone patches, which will work nicely in ambient soundtracks, as well as in combination with orchestral instruments. Moving on to the high intensity drones, this is a different beast entirely. But most of these feature the electric guitars and basses we recorded at Teldex. They weren't just making the microphone membranes vibrate, the whole building itself was shaking.
now for a complete change of mood once again, let's take a look at the atmospheric drones. They utilize the middle and high tonal registers and have a more pristine quality to them. For the ultra low end, we have the sub drones. These are great if you just need the low frequencies, but they're also designed specifically to be combined with other drones to add depth and weight.
Although all of those sound-designed instruments appear quite huge on their own, they leave enough space to be layered and combined with each other as well as with other instruments you want to use. Here are a few examples of different drone sounds playing together. Those sound designed instruments are provided with three stereo signals which you can access and control in the sign mixer. You get a close mix, a distant mix, and a surround mix which can be used for even more ambience or for the rear channels of your surround setup. Let's listen to those with a few examples. They sound great on their own as well as combined. Without any processing at all, you can utilize them to set the depth of your drone within your track. Maybe you just need the drone sound to stay in the back while you have another instrument sitting in the front of the soundstage. For that, lower or disable the close mix and play just the distant and or surround signal. Here's how this can sound in combination with a solo instrument sitting in front of the drone. We also have a set of drone tools for very special tonal riser and cluster effects. Some of them have up to 13 layers which can be crossfaded with the mod wheel. They're perfect for tension building and transitions in your tracks. Use very slow mod wheel movements to get the best effect here.
You also get access to the ingredients of those sound designed instruments. That means you get the raw and natural recordings we did at those two venues. These are great for making your own combinations and sound designs, or you can use them on their own as additional colors for your tracks. Let's hear some of them, starting with the orchestral instruments. We have a set of two cellos and two double basses. They provide a nice atmospheric bass color, which also works great in orchestral contexts. You can hear how lively and expressive the performances are, especially with all of those drone ingredient sounds played individually. We didn't record any static sustains here. Each articulation has its own textural and dynamic features. And now for something quite special, a section of eight trombones playing super long notes as drones. Alexander Hacke himself recorded the electric guitars and basses for his drone collection. Here, you get massive distorted guitar ambiences as well as very shimmery and harmonic feedback and Ebo recordings.
We also reamp two Mini Moog sub bass sounds through the same microphone and cabinet setup that we used for the guitars. Let's move on to the instruments we recorded at Silent Green in Berlin. We have an ensemble of four bass singers providing very evocative dark vocal sounds. Let's move on to the hurdy-gurdy duo. Here we have two players with their very characteristic instruments. Now, the hurdy-gurdy is by nature not a chromatic instrument. They have multiple strings, but the drone strings are tuned to a specific scale or root note, in our case, G. This means we had to pitch shift the samples to give you access to the notes of the chromatic scale. This is also true of the Tanpura ensemble and partly also the Ebo piano.
The Tanpuras, also a duo of the male and female version of this very typical drone instrument, are also tuned in G. As with the hurdy-gurdy, we have different drone sounds here using one or more strings of the instruments, making up simple to complex drone textures. Last but not least, we recorded some sounds with the strings of a grand piano being excited with one or two ebos. Here, like with the hurdy-gurdy, we recorded all intervals from unison to the octave played simultaneously on the instruments. Those are great for their harmonic effect or for building tension. So, that concludes our short tour of the very long notes in this very big collection. It was a great experience to work with Alexander Hacke, and we've had a lot of fun designing these evolving sounds. From the sublime to the extreme, and from the ambient to the truly terrifying, there's a whole world of drones here for you to explore. Happy travels!